they came and put this monument, this monument, um, this Confederate monument in Hemming Plaza. They came and set that there. So, look, <coughs> let, let, hear me out, Rod. Right? Mm -hmm. Hear me out. I say the 62 foot um, Vermont granite monument, which is topped with a bronze statue of a Confederate soldier in a winter uniform, um, was installed in Hemming um, Park in 1898 after the park's namesake, Civil War veteran Charles C. Hemming donated the statue. And hold on, Rod. Uncle Rod. Um, mm -hmm. And three years later, it caught fire. And they said that statue, the bottom of it, was glowing red. <laughs> That's a hot ass fire. Look, how hot a fire got to be for metal to be uh, glowing red? Yeah, the, the statue was um, just took it from here in 2020. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's. Crazy part about it, and hold on, all right. Another thing, the the great, um, the great fight could be seen in Savannah, Georgia. That was talking about when they set the Florida on fire. So they tried to burn Florida. They were trying to burn us out of the ticket. Yeah, and, and a and a funny part about that, um, the great fire of nineteen oh one was the most destructive event in Jacksonville history. Wiped out two hundred and thirty six. I mean. 2,368 buildings while leaving nearly 10,000 people homeless, but I'm going to say 100,000. Because they ain't going to never give you the full right numbers. Exactly. Remember Rosewood? Yeah. Rosewood, Rosewood. was a gullah stronghold. It was That was a military action when they burned Rosewood down. They was trying to get us out of that village because we we was we 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 ain't pussy as they Martin Luther King think, right? You know what I'm saying? But the the people got to remember who the fuck they is, and they won't be doing this shit. We was beating their motherfucking ass, but we was losing so many people because they was setting whole cities on fire, right? Now remember when they set a city on fire? This is the part they ain't tell you. Anybody get caught leaving the city getting gunned down. So now you're either going to stay in the fire or face the gunfire. Right, and, like and then they wonder where hell is at. <clears throat> That's a shame. And Aunt Rod, I got two things to tell you. Um, I got to tell you about that dirt bike dream because that happened in real time. Mm -hmm. I got to tell you about that again. And I got to tell you about the dream when I had got off the live with you. And I, mm. So well, you I, already told me about the dirt bike dream. Tell yeah, me about the, tell me about the other dream, and then we will chat later on about the uh, dirt bike dream again. All right. So, <clears throat> so I came to a place. I seen a man. He was just steady looking at the land. He had on a brown suit and he had on a brown hat. His hat matched his suit. So when I um was walking towards him. He swung his flag around. He said, do not shred my flag. So when his flag reaches on the left shoulder, it turned into an energy weapon. It was glowing red and yellow. <laughs> Once and yellow, something like that. And it looked like it had lava in it. I think you told me about that dream before. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we went over that one already. All I got for you, all right. All right. Hey, but peace to the guys, though. You good, money? Yeah, peace. I'm, we're going to take you in another call. I'm going to take you in the sisters, and then we'll try to get another brother up here. For sure, all right. All right. All right. There we go. Hey, peace, hey. peace, peace. How you doing, Uncle Rod? I'm doing good, sweetie. How you doing? I'm doing good. But I was guided. Um, California. 
I'm in California. California in the house. Queen Khalifa yes. on deck. Let's go. Yes. Um, well, I mean, I wish I could tell you everything, but um, where I'm at right now, I'm basically, I'm in a really good space. I had a lot of transitioning like a lot of us did. It started off last year. Um, I really started um, getting more intuitive. I did Reiki healing. Um, I'm starting my own business. I'm in CMOS, and I'm a healer, and I love it. But I'm also a mother of six. And I'm starting to find where I feel a little bit in the middle. Like, I love my business and I love being a healer, but I don't want it to take away from my motherhood either. So I'm just trying to, like, make the right decisions and make sure I'm doing my purpose and what I need to do without taking, you know, away from the other. I guess it's like trying to find my balance. This is a, this is a good question because a lot of people have <clears throat> that concern about balancing motherhood with um like, what kind of uh, healing practice do you do? Well, I do CMOS. So first I make CMOS gel, which has been, like, uh, really big in my city. So I've, like, I noticed I have a lot of people, a lot of people with health issues, cancer patients, even myself. Like, I totally, you know, got healthy and everything like that, my family. So that happened. And then I also got into energy healing, the Reiki healing. And so I started doing that. I'm just a little bit touching on it. Um, but just oh. in me, I'm just a natural healer. This is the bridge. I'm about to give you the bridge. <laughs> your mother time can also incorporate your children into making CMOS. Right, and then they do, yeah. yeah. And then you can, one, one or two or more of them is going to be interested in learning Reiki. Okay. So if you teach them, you're still spending mother time with your children. Exactly. Uh, mother time is also giving them tools and skills that they can go out and do the same that you do heal and to be positively impactful. By you incorporating them into your business, <clears throat> you kill a couple of birds with one stone. You okay. spend mother time with your children. You're mm -hmm. teaching them the profession that you're doing because you know that it works. Right, right, right. Of course, yes. So now you're able to teach as a mother the things mm -hmm. that they should know. So you incorporate their home education into the business. Right. Okay. Yes. Of course. Yes. Okay. So yes. when you when you at work, they at school, then you they teacher. Mm -hmm. Right. And y'all yes. all go in there together. So one one mom six month stretch, you might want to teach the oldest the oldest daughter how to do the books. Okay, this is yeah. how we keep track. So mm -hmm. that's her math. That's her business class. Right? Right, right. And there's also critical thinking. Right? Because mm -hmm, you gotta, right. gotta pay attention. Mm -hmm. Right? Then mm -hmm. she's doing the work, so now she's getting clerical uh, training. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right? right. And she's also having to work with the computer, so she's learning the computer. So you incorporating what you what you doing to make a living mm -hmm. to make it make your whole living. Wow! Right. Don't right. allow it to be a stressor. Allow it to be a motivator and the opportunity to teach your children how to be entrepreneurs. Okay. So I want you to get a book. It's called uh, "Developing the Entrepreneurial Mindset." It's a it's like a textbook. Okay, I got it. <laughs> And that's going to give you your guidelines on teaching them about the business from the perspective of an entrepreneur. Okay. So now you're bridging the gap between knowing how to perform the function and then knowing how to turn it into a business. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Right. <laughs> so as a mother, you, you always have an opportunity to incorporate your work, especially when you're self-employed with mothering so that that gives you even more time to be mama. Yeah, it does. It does. It does. All right. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate your time. Yeah. And make sure you stick to your off days. <laughs> yes. I, I need to hear that. I Stop do. working on your off days. Okay. Well, your yeah. off days is for y'all to do family activities. Exactly. Yep. Right. It is. It is. So, yes. Right. So while your uh, sea moss is simmering or something, <laughs> Um, pl playing your uh, um, your off days with functions, and you can get to a mother to mothers group to get suggestions from other mothers. Oh, okay. And yeah. y'all can also use that to form a community bridge 
for all of the mothers who want their children to have a richer, fuller life. I love that. So that's amazing. Yes. I can make that happen. Me and another mom, we're both business women and we that's what we deal with is trying to find balance with our kids and also being entrepreneurs. Once you so. get it down pat, keep notes because when you get mm -hmm. good at it, and once you've accomplished your goal, now you can train the other mothers on how to incorporate their business as an educational tool to, to homeschool their children. I love it. You know, what we're actually going to do tomorrow. Me and my friend, we're actually going to go start some nonprofits. And we were trying to figure out what exactly we want to do with well, them. Well, right we're now just... is not a good time because the IRS is about to blow the fuck up. Oh, damn. Well, it was the intention, right? have to, Look, you can still do the nonprofit. You okay. just don't have to get no tax forms. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right? Right, right. And, and just, you can still do the same work. Okay. But stay out of here. And then when you get the family bank, you use it as the family bank um, um, charitable contribution. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So we know how to restructure mm -hmm. with the tools that we have in front of us, but somebody sometimes has to put the dots together because we're too close to see it. Yeah. Well, we're ready to rebuild too. Yeah. Yeah, we are. <laughs> yeah. So that's like my job is to get a women back these little tidbits. We appreciate it. It oh, is. It's coming up. back. Yeah. So once y'all start seeing it and then y'all start bringing the corporate, y'all taking the whole community back from these doubles. We are. We ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Yes. So this is important too. So this is your guideline. She says, still do your bylaws and set up your board structure. Okay. This is your guideline because the guideline, when you write it down, it makes it easier to follow it. It is, yes. So, the, the even like for your house rules, uh -huh. it be used as uh, business bylaws for the children. Right, so yeah. Them, so, now you're teaching them that if you do have to work for somebody else, you can follow the rules. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Right? <clears throat> Don't take it personal. Right. That's why I always tell them that. Don't take it personal because they don't know you like that. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So if they don't know you like that, they can't mean anything that's nefarious because they don't know you like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. I understand. Yeah. <laughs> I, get, I get it. I get it. Right, so, yeah. yeah. But um, mm -hmm. everything that you can use to your advantage, use to your advantage. Well done. They threw rocks mm -hmm. at us. We build castles. Fuck. Fuck it. Yeah. Keep the motherfuckers. Because <laughs> castle going to be a whole. You're right. You know, You're right. <laughs> So we're taking um, everything they use to try to oppress us and we're using the same shit to come up. They didn't ever think that you would have the audacity to say, anybody know how to balance this mother thing, work thing out <laughs> while I do my own thing? They did right? because we used to didn't ask those questions. Right. I just did it. I just, I'm doing it. And right. everybody looks around me to my family, friend, how are you doing? I'm just doing it. I push for it and I just make it happen. Yeah. Just make it happen. Right. So, so now, now, now you can see the structure. Right. And it'll help you be more effective being the mother that's Miss Seamoss' mind. <laughs> that's the <a> first. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> I like that. Okay. I can do that. Yeah. You're right. I can do it. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Thank you so but, much. Yep. And make sure you pick your banker in the family to, to start teaching how to do the money, how to okay. watch the money and know how to tell good business decisions from bad ones. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. yeah. So as you're telling them this, they're going to get better at it than you, so expect that. <laughs> but guess what? There's a reason the student can never outshine the master. Because the greater the student is, the better the master taught him. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's why it's going to be, it's rewarding. It's, it's going to be, yeah, I'll be very rewarded. I'll be very happy, very proud. And I'm exactly. always here if we, if we have to uh, run into a bump or something. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate it. Okay. Uh, well, you have a good night. Thank you for taking my call. I really appreciate it. Help me out so much. And much peace and love to all the soul family out there. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. Everybody, peace, peace, peace to the gods. What's going What's on, up, God?
Where you traveling in from? I'm from Philly. From Philly. Philly in the house, goddamn it. That's yeah, what I'm talking Philly. about, brotherly love. Yes, sir. Respect. It, 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 yeah, much love, much love, man. I'm happy we finally talked. You know, I had DM'd you a while ago. I had missed your call. You know, so much been going on. But, you know, I, um, so I got, like, about three things I want to ask you just to get a more deeper understanding on. So, um, first, I wanna, I'm going to start with my son because he's most important. Um, so, with my son's, my son's mother, when uh, she was five months pregnant, once they found out he was a boy, it was like a light switch cut on. All in all, they said that my son was going to be a vegetable. Said he wasn't going to be able to function, you know, yada, yada. And um, that they um, tried to convince her m multiple times to abort him. And I wasn't with it. I told him whatever the universe wanted us to have, we wasn't going to love him or treat him no differently. Fact. I, did, I didn't feel it in my soul. You feel me? I, from day, I just didn't feel it. You know what? You so know, one how old is Shorty now? Uh, my son is seven months, so we actually are in court with these with these with these monsters. It's a lot of uh, um, how can I, a lot of chaos? It's a lot of chaos. Um, they she did get an MRI when she was five months, but now they can't produce them MRI images. They can't find them, but whole time we have them. You mean we have everything? You know what I mean? But all in all, we kind of like being railroaded. What and, is it? What, what's the fight about? Uh, that's the thing. So now they trying to stick with uh, with this this this. So we are. So we went to a specialist when he was two months. So first they said that these things would be visible to the eye when he was born, which they wasn't. We left the hospital. Um, what's supposed to be wrong with him? What's the thing? Cere So now they trying to diagnose him with cerebral palsy. Okay. But do we have uh, like? <clears throat> Well, I can't I can't evaluate him over the phone, but um there's a couple things at seven months he's still young enough for you to start using um supplements that um stimulate the central nervous system to cause it to catch up and develop it. Cerebral palsy is normally the um central nervous system doesn't fully develop with the fetus. Right. So it causes them to um, draw the physical form up, right, right, right. But so, the good, the good thing is you're catching it at this age, right. Now, this is what I want you to do because I'm not going. I got, I got two herbalists. I'm going to normally go to here, but the, for, for what you need, you need to call Doctor G for Reawaken Minds. Tell her I sent you, and she have a herbalist that can stimulate them. He can give you supplements to stimulate the central nervous system to break past the, the in inhibitions created by the palsy. Okay. So you'll start to see improvements in the child if you can get the um, treatment. It, it, it would have been better at birth, but seven months old is still young enough to affect that, it. That's why I'm positive saying. development. That, that, all right, so cerebral palsy, that just came out of... All right, so Mind you, that's what I'm saying is chaos because we are battling, or so we battling DHS, man. you know what I mean? Because these, we, all of these diagnoses came from physicians. No one is, so that's like basically we, you know, we say we trying to get to Washington, D.C. It's five of us. We all take our own individual routes, but the end result is D.C. Right. Well, that, I'm so they, right now. Right now, my my concern ain't with the legal case. Right, right. Fuck them people in their legal case. My concern is to um, accelerate the central nervous system in your son so that he can he have an opportunity to develop beyond a palsy because the central right. nervous system is still growing and right. it's growing fast. Right. And there's supplements that can give him that will unlock his muscles. Okay. Because they normally lock up from the condition. Okay. So... The uh, Dr. G from Reawaken Minds, I have an herbalist. He's good. I talked to him. And, um, yeah, so he's he got the means to give you a detailed analysis. Yeah, because that's what we're trying to – because he's not showing no signs of, of, of none of these things. That they're, that he might they're, not have none of it. That's right. why I'm sending you to a homeopathic physician that's licensed that right. can tell you if the doctors is – because your son might be what you call a chosen one. Two two twenty two. 
that's when he came. That's when he was born. Two two twenty two. Yeah. So you, go, you need to go to the herbalist. Um, and have his his, his uh birth chart done. Okay. Astrology. Yeah. And um, see when you get that done, see if you can send it to me. I will. Because I'm almost positive that they're trying to um get your son from you, mm -hmm. and he's a chosen one. A golden child. The, the specialist is. He said, "We we have to get the the MRI and, and and the genetic testing done because we have to see what he is." So you know, I'm paying attention because my spiritual awakening was two years ago. I was shot multiple times: my face, my neck, and my lung. They couldn't tell me I got a bar in my neck. All in all, I had a a a, a beautiful outer body experience, and. Uh, it w I had a, a sit down with seven individuals and they told me I didn't come down here for what I've been was exposing my life to and that they will remove me. Yeah, that the same thing happened to me when I tried to leave. Mm -hmm. I found a, I found a um, back door through the astral travel because I'm kind of cunning like that. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I'm done. I'm ghost. Yeah. And I did. Right. And they caught up to me 